guys. Back part two. Compressor install. Tanks. Hoses. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share. We'll bring you back in a minute. Start putting these hoses together. All right, guys. Getting our holes drilled in for our brackets. project well you started it so it's your project say who I got it from got what from all right you're still sitting right at 32 and a half Alright guys, when are you putting together thread? Some people use pipe dope. I like Teflon tape. It works good for both plumbing and air applications. What it's doing is sealing the threads. Hold on. I'm just going with you. Guys, in order to get air out, we're going to add this hose and we're going to get some Teflon tape on it too. And this will allow us to pipe in a fitting on the trailer itself. Guys, when you got that Teflon tape on there, it's going to be a little bit harder to get started. Just be patient with it. Especially when you're fighting five foot of hose. What? Fighting the five foot of hose. Yeah, let me make it easier on you. Watch this. Last thing you want to do is cross thread it. So once you get her started, get your wrench on her. Not the right side. Well, there's 12,000 wrenches all around. Yeah, we got them uh, every. This project right here is taking nine wrenches. Nine <laughs> different wrenches. So far. Yeah. And we ain't even mounted it yet. We're still messing with hose fittings and, and, and bolt brackets. Nine wrenches. Yeah. You think you could have got it any closer to the rib? Well, I could have. 
and the man got a ticklet. We might be drilling again. That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> knife to work perfectly for this. Okay. Passenger side first, Scott. It's not going to go. <laughs> Let's figure out what's it's too close to the rim. Yep, ain't it? too close to the rim. So we need to take that bracket and drill. This one. Uh-huh. On both of them. Uh-huh. But just leave it right there. Yep. All right, Scott. Pull this one out. Find that bracket that he had. Yeah. Drill it this way to the passenger side. Too close to the rim. Oops. Got more dry holes. Oh, they hit me right now. <laughs> in the forehead. You get to be an impatient. Shut up, He ripped it out, boy. <laughs> Alright, guys, got the uh, tank mounted up now. The pressure we put in a while back. Uh, still getting it done. All right, guys, that first clamp failed. We'll try clamp number two from the package. got to join this piece into that piece like this. Uh, I'm going to heat this pipe up like this. It's probably not recommended with gas line. did it. What did you tell me not to do? Don't forget the hose clamp. I'm about to push the uh, Okay. Hey guys, don't forget to put this second hose clamp on before you join them. Or you're going to be in a tight spot. I'm going 
gonna get our high dollar heat gun here again. No, they gave it to me free. As you can see, we've got our junction made right there to join two hoses together. We've got our tank mounted, compressor. So we'll catch y'all back in a minute. All right, guys, now we're going to be installing a brand new grounding cable, Duralast ground to go from the battery to the compressor itself. What we've done, we've taken a grommet, cut it out, drilled a hole in here so we can get our wires to it. Hand me your hang up, Jay, before you do that. Let me get the metal shaving off the inside. And Josh is getting the metal shavings off the inside. And this is gonna be our wire to uh, positive and ground to the air compressor. Watching Josh work with the metal there on the other side. Drilled that out with a step bit. You might want to use the cutters on that. Why are you pushing it to me? I don't want it. I'm just trying to break that. Uh-huh. Hold on. There you go, guys. That's going to lead straight to the battery. Josh is under there wiring her up. All right, guys, now we're running our wire down. Cut on the compressor. All right, guys, we got the wire connected at the compressor. Now it's time to put it on the switch panel. See if we can get the butt connector slid down. Get that compressed. We'll get our second wire cut off. Strip her off. Josh, you got the good strippers. Alright, we'll make this work. Twist our wires together. Join our two connections. In. I'm going to trim just a hair off because sticking out retwist it join our two together again get our compression tool in here Did not have that one squeezed tight enough, so that's why you always check it. Push her back in, get our compression tool again. Get her squeezed down. And both wires are tight. So now we've got it connected to our switch panel. We'll get our battery hooked back up and run our first test. That's the moment of truth. All this work, compressor, tanks in. Will it work? Did we get it right the first time? Oh yeah! She is fired up. Here running. Guys, we appreciate you tuning in. 
please like subscribe and share and we'll see you on the next one